Hello guys and welcome back to Project Monaco with me, Pug Gaming. And today we have an absolutely outstanding episode and one that I've really been excited to start working on and today we will start working on that. But before we jump into that, let's remind ourselves of what we did last week. Last week we worked on some beautiful sections of Monaco. This is the section by the Sun Casino Hotel and the Fairmont Hairpin and I think it worked really nicely. The whole area now, this seafront is uh, really, really taking shape and the uh, hairpin, which in itself is a very iconic part of Monaco. A lot of people reference this famous hairpin to that of Monaco, certainly with the Formula One, but in general, it's one of those places you all want to go and see if you do visit Monaco. And these are the sort of sections we're working on first. There's obviously gonna be a lot of housing areas that we need to build up, residential and also commercial which will come at a later date and maybe on or off camera. So that's a, a topic for you guys to decide whether you want to see every single building placed um, within this series or do you want to see some sections grow outside off camera a little bit because there are going to be some mundane areas that are not as detailed which are just going to be placed down. So we can either do a quick time lapse of that or we can leave that and I will just add it off camera and give you an update after. So let me know your thoughts on that guys interesting to see what you think is the better way around that and whilst on the topic of the community I have to say I am so delighted by the amount of feedback and comments I've had since returning to this series I know I had a good month and a bit off um, well month and a bit off in terms of actually releasing videos and I'm trying to make up for it with three this week um, it's not gonna be like that every week unfortunately and um, time consumes um, means I can't do that but by all means keep those comments coming it's great to hear your feedback it's great to hear how you think I'm doing and what things you like to see me add and some of the tips you've been given as well have been really useful so certainly keep those coming every episode I really do appreciate that and I do read and comment pretty much every single uh, message that you guys drop but you ask where are we going in this episode we are going right here in the thick of things we are going to be working on this beautiful section the casino square which consumes of a number of very fancy buildings. And these buildings have been created by one asset creator himself. His name is Mac Welshman and boy, when you start seeing these assets, they'll be on the workshop today as well, by the way. When you start seeing these, you will realize how talented these creators are. And Mac Welshman is definitely one of the top ones. He has been absolutely fantastic in designing all of these buildings for this section and wow, I'm, I was lost for words when I first saw the first building he sent over. The detail is sensational. You think this image here on Google Maps looks good. The model he's created is 10,000 times better than this. Fantastic work. But this is the area we're going to be working on today. It's probably going to be two episodes, two parts in terms of detailing, but we're going to get straight into it and start working on the casino itself. Now I did do a little bit off camera and all I did was just lay out some of the roads for where the area and the casino is going to be. So let's just do a little bit of an overcap of what we have done. I know we've seen the cinematics earlier, but this is where we're at. And you can see where the road is panned out. This is where we are gonna start working on today. Don't worry about the strange paths. Those strange paths there are purely just to get the levels of the terrain down correctly. And like I said before, Working with terrain on City Skylines isn't the easiest and you do need to use the little pug trick of using the pavement and higher and lowering the nodes with Move It to really, really get things down correctly. But here we go, here's the famous casino square, got the roundabout section here. You'll have the casino at the closest end to us. Left hand side is the beautiful famous hotel and on the right we've got the um, cafe as well. So this is pretty much where we're going to start today. Obviously I've done those roads off camera to speed things up, but first building is going to be this absolute beauty. Look at this. So this is the first asset that I um, managed to talk Mac Welshman into making. This is the Monaco Casino and Opera House. And as you can see, the detail level on this is absolutely insane. There's not many creators who go into this much detail when building models. And this is not just a small one. This is a massive, massive building. Um, I'm not sure whether it's gonna be released as in sections or one large panel like I have here for the design, 
you'll have to check on the workshop i haven't spoke to mac about that just yet but nonetheless you'll be getting all of this and the ability to do what you want with it but if you can see here the level of detail the video the images popping up left hand side you can see how realistic and how close this is to the real thing it really is sensational i cannot believe that someone's been able to do this <laughs> in the space of time he had as well this is incredible so like i say this is the first building that mac done for me and as you can imagine my thoughts when i first saw this i was blown away beautiful beautiful models and i will say guys please 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 click the link go onto the um, web page on the workshop and hit the rate button because these creators deserve it do it on every single one you find don't just do it on random ones people deserve to have this and next up was building number two that mac done and this again is sensational now this is the hotel de paris monte carlo and you may remember seeing this in all the films in the james bond films this is the one next door to the casino and again this is a unique building fantastically designed I, when i first saw this i was really thinking how am i going to replicate this this could be impossible and yeah i managed to entice mac in as well and he also created this one and not only that we're not even finished yet we have a third building that's going to be released on the workshop and this is the cafe de paris so again this completes y class as the um, casino square area now this model is amazing again detail levels are out of this world but also we have some custom monaco tables ignore the fact that this isn't placed down correctly just yet we've got to work with the terrain and levels and remove obviously those orange paths but to start with there we go that is where we are at the moment so we've got some beautiful models all going to be released on the workshop today and also you're going to see a bit later on the episode there are going to be some prop assets dropped as well um, which suit perfectly the um, Monaco theme and I know a lot of you have already been asking um, where they are such as the beautiful Monaco walls and some of these staircases as well not these ones these are our mestros but uh, there are some staircases I've used throughout the series already where a lot of you have said where are they on the workshop and the reason they weren't on the workshop was because they were just built for this particular episode so they will be on the workshop as well guys so you'll be able to use those fantastic looking walls and um, there's so many things actually there's some balconies there's some um, beautiful street lamps that he's done um, standstone steps corner ends walls pillars and also a entrance bust of massinet so um, yeah I think that's gonna be released as a um, prop pack so they'll all be in one so you don't have to subscribe to it once but boy you are in for a treat this weekend with all of these assets i mean it's been so hard for me to um not show off any work and i've really wanted to get into this episode a lot quicker than i've been able to and it's purely again down to time and this particular episode as i say it's gonna be stretched over two parts so we're gonna work mostly on the detailing around the uh, casino area and the opera house then we'll move further into the casino square itself and detail that in the next episode so that's sort of the plan moving forward but i wanted to place all of these buildings down straight away because you guys deserve to see this and i know mac really wants everyone to see it and i don't blame him um, apologies obviously to max that it's taking a little bit longer than um, scheduled to get these out but boy download them subscribe to them have some fun with them they are fantastic and they're going to really create some beautiful beautiful scenes when you put these down in your cities now i could really talk about these assets all day in this episode but i thought i'd better fill you in on what i'm doing here so as you can see in the top left hand corner of your screen now there is a little staircase walkway getting from the sun casino hotel and the hairpin right up towards where the beautiful casino is so we're just trying to replicate that we're not going to be able to do it like for like because it's not possible for the game i also wanted to try and put the invisible paths in as well um, to make people actually be able to walk up here once things get a bit more busier so i wanted to choose something that's a little bit more easier to um to achieve that with so we've just gone with a staircase like this um the right hand side is where the people will walk up the left hand side will probably be just um as it is i don't think we can be able to fit a yeah, invisible path around there and around that bend so it is what it is um but if we get people walking up there fantastic if not it still looks good it still looks similar to 
what you see in real life. So I'm happy with that. Um, again, you'll see I'm using the um, procedural objects mod to move some of the uh, the walls. These are the walls by Matt Welshman as well, which were in that pack. So you'll be able to use these. Um, but I'm using the procedural objects to get some of the um, acute angles in here. Um, as you see, some of them aren't quite um, level, so we need to adapt those a little bit. And again, procedural objects is the perfect, perfect mod to be able to use to do that, which is fantastic. Um, again, it takes a little bit of time. I know a few of you guys commented saying that you've uh, really liking the look of what you can now achieve with procedural objects, and it's just really taking that jump into it. So. I would certainly advise you all to give it another go. There's a lot more features that have been added since um, a few months back, which make life a lot easier. It's very similar now to the Move It mod in terms of how you can use it and the ability and the ease of doing so. It just takes time. Once you've used it once or twice, it's as easy as Move It in my opinion. That's how I feel anyway. As you can see here as well, we've been using the beautiful um, rocks and stones from Ivania's Monaco set which work beautiful beautiful within this area and we're also just adding some foliage in here as well to um, really give that sort of feeling that these rocks have been there for some time and there's green sort of foliage and grass growing through it and um, we're going to add some of the palm trees and other trees up here as well and just try and replicate it as best we can again it's difficult within the mechanics of the game but um, once you start in the trees in here, it did start to come alive as well. So I'm very pleased with how that um, worked. Now the only downside to this area, which I think I've managed to combat <laughs> in my own little way, but the way that I built the bottom section is a little bit too high to where it needed to really be. And whilst I could have changed it all, um, it would have taken so much time and you know I didn't want to start ruining things by moving things around. So technically what you see here is this tier is going down to the casino. Whereas in actual real life, this tier is going up to the casino. But as I say, it's gonna be very difficult for me to redo that and I think it still works. As I say, we're never gonna get things perfect. Um, so I know a few of you who know this area well will probably comment on that and say that that isn't quite correct, but it is what it is. And also it does look quite nice. Um, you'll see a bit later on with the cinematics that this area, despite being inverted, so to speak, it still looks work, it works really well, I think. Um, so I, what I wanted to create here is still create the same as what we see uh, in real life by having these steps in the middle and then the walls around the outside. And I actually end up using the, um, the rear side of the steps because I really like the colour um, of these walls that have been created by Mac Welshman. Um, and it works really well, I think. Um, it was just an easier way to fill in these gaps and hide the, uh, the uh, um, what's it called, the proper asphalt as well so that worked out quite nicely in the end and I do like the contrast between the orange and the bright stone white that uh, Max created with these props and talking of the props I guarantee a lot of you will be straight on the workshop link and clicking those because there are a lot within this I think there's 18 or so from what I remember seeing um, and you'll see a bit later on as well, very shortly, we start to place down some of the um, ornamental street lamps. And there's three versions of these and every single one is beautiful. Um, yeah, so like I say guys, make sure you rate up all of these assets and props from all your favorite creators because they deserve it. 
as much as I enjoy people commenting on my videos and telling me, you know, well, hopefully telling me good things, it really does give you a buzz and it really does help you um, move forward in your um, abilities. And the same goes for these asset creators. They really do like the fact that their um, assets are getting um, good ratings and nice comments because they're doing this for free, remember guys. They all deserve to know how well they are doing. So make sure you keep that in mind next time you subscribe to a really nice asset and even your favorite one, drop them a little comment, give them some feedback. Just don't be nasty. Now another issue we have with this build is actually this section here that we're working on at the moment is actually um, different tiered. So there are steps going down and up into it and I'm kind of using these stairs, well I'm, I'm basically um, creating the illusion here um, that there are stairs by putting some of these uh, walls into the ground and making them look like steps. So we're just basically putting one in and moving it, tabbing down a little bit to make it look like a step. And from a distance it does look like there are different tiers and it is going down or up into the next level so that's another thing to keep in mind if you're trying to create some depth it's all about depth depth, depth and perceptions um, a lot of artists, artists use it a lot and you can get away with it with this game as well shadows obviously really do help in these situations so if i did put the direct sun straight down onto this area it wouldn't look as good but because we are going in at an angle we are creating that um, depth of field vision that uh, like basically works um, works with the shadows and then makes it look like this area is higher up than the next so we're gonna probably end up using that technique quite a lot and we're doing it here as well to create a, a platform up from this area where there are some seats around it so um, yeah it's all, all sort of testing and a bit of trial and error and it seems to work quite nicely Again, going back, this is why I'm really enjoying this series. It's really keeping my toes. It's really making me think about the way the game works and also being um, clever with the assets that are on the workshop. Again, like I said last week, we can use procedural objects now to morph um, already created assets and make it fit how you need to. 
Um, and when I say that, I don't mean I'm taking assets from creators and copying it and making it into something completely different because obviously without them, we wouldn't be able to do that in the first place. It's more of a case of making it fit the area that you're working on. And I really do like doing this as well. I'm not sure if any of you guys have done so, but uh, using these staircases and making custom stairs, really, um, it's a great way to join up some of the terrain that doesn't quite work too nicely. As you can see here, because I've used the road um, to create um, the different tiers around the building, I'm have, I was having trouble there because there was a rounded end to the road and it didn't look right the way it went into the next section of terrain. So plopping down the staircase on top completely hides it and just covers it all up and makes things look really nice and more realistic in my opinion. And whilst we do a bit more detail in this section here, we're going to place some walls down and I'm going to throw some background music and we'll catch up when we start working on some of the foliage. Catch you in a bit. Okay guys, welcome back and as you can see, we used again the procedure objects to get that wall in place and because the road levels were a bit irregular, again we used the procedure objects and moved the um, angles a bit to, to get those all, all in place. And what we're doing now is we're spending the last part of this episode just putting some foliage down and in this section of course, being Monaco, there are some beautiful palm trees. So we're trying to replicate as best as what I can see on Google Maps and in real life to um, make those look as close as possible um, and adding the foliage really does bring this area to life I, I didn't notice that until near the end when I started really putting the, um, the details down and despite the details not being there the, the models themselves really do make this area feel alive so the detailing is just adding to that and you know I was really really pushing myself in this episode because of the amazing work by Mac Welshman I wanted to make sure that what I was doing was at the top of my level and I think I have done so let me know what you think guys at the end of the video um, stay tuned for the cinematics as I said probably some of the best I know I say this each week 
But when you were working with buildings of this such of such quality, such as we are today, wow, the cinematics look great. So make sure you hang around for that. And talking of cinematics, based on a few comments that I had as well last week, I'm, what I'm thinking of doing is come episode 15 or 16, well, it's supposed to be 16 now, I might do a quick um, overview, sort of cinematic, short little five minute video, just an additional little video to show what we've done so far. Um, what do you think about that, guys? I'm not too sure how that would fit in. Um, with how things are. Should we just carry on as we go in or do you want to see a little bit of an overview in terms of what we've done so far and it's a nice cinematic with some nice background music. I, I do like adding those in sort of midway through sections and it seems to be a good time to add it in if so. So let me know your thoughts on that. Um, be good to know. And what we're doing here is we're just basically cleaning up the, um, the main pathways here um, as you can see in the video top left hand corner there are some areas here that we need to replicate and doing so there's a little section here with just some pots and a few scattered plants which was quite interesting to see and sometimes when i'm placing these things down from what i see in real life it doesn't look like it works but obviously if you know monaco you know that this is actually something that they have <laughs> right here in this section so sometimes you have to use your imagination and uh, hope that it all works out to plan so very close now to the end of this episode so like i said earlier it's going to be a two-parter in terms of this section um, obviously today has been purely the one side to be fair one side of the casino and opera house next episode we'll be working on the main core so we're talking about the actual um, casino square the part that you see in all those films james bond in particular you see that section with all the nice cars parked outside the famous fountain as well which um, will be another treat next week I hope um, it might be released this week I'm not too sure yet but it's something we'll be placing down next week and that again was created by Mac Welshman and we'll look at that in a bit more detail next week but boy it's a beautiful fountain and one that again you'll be silly not to place in your own city and towns so as this draws to the end I would like to obviously thank you guys for your time and patience in this series like I say, it's difficult for me to knock out videos once a week, and this week has been a particular special week. Um, a makeup week, let's call it. Um, three episodes out in the space of a week. Next episode will be the following weekend, I imagine. Probably Saturday or Sunday. We'll see how things pan out. Uh, but then I've got a vacation for a week after that. So we'll see how things work. But for now, this is the beautiful Casino Square. I want to thank you all for watching let me know your thoughts and comments in the section below let me know what you thought about the cinematics because boy do i think they are great this week and again remember to comment and like on not just my video but also the guys who create the assets check them out in the workshop and i'll catch you all next week guys thanks for watching and all the best <laughs>